All right, this is um, another discrete math problem here, proving that the sum of the first n odd n natural numbers is n squared. Um, this is a this is a proof by induction that we're going to do. A lot of the videos out there have this one proven for you. I'm going to do it for my students though because and you know, every teacher talks differently, speaks differently about things, and so this will be a good example for them to see. If you would like to see it, you can watch it as well. So we have to prove that the sum of the first n odd natural numbers is n squared. So I mean, those, that's what it says in words. Let's actually write it out in math lingo. So basically the sum of the first n odd natural numbers. So if I have one plus three plus five plus a bunch of stuff plus two n minus one, what they're saying is that's n squared. Now for those of you who had Calc 2, Calc 2 isn't a prerequisite to our discrete math, but in Calc 2 you can think of this as the side as the sum of 2n minus 1 for n equal 1 to k, and they're saying that the closed form of that is n squared. So basically we're, we're talking about closed forms here. That's a closed form, that's a closed form of a series. And this second line here is only for uh, Calc 2 folks. So if my students have been through Calc 2, take note of that. That's really what we're doing. So let's go through the process of the base cases. Now again, I always do several base cases. Always do. Because I want to make sure I know how to handle things and how things are related. And I bet you there's some student out there that's saying, how on earth can that be for sure the first n odd natural numbers because that's just random and that's not n there it's 2n minus 1. So I'm going to show you a few cases to kind of give you the idea that this is going to work that is what that's saying and to move on from there. So I do base case n minus 1 the only one you truly have to show is this one for the smallest natural number. So I know that if I add 1 to itself that gives me 1 squared that looks like not equal sorry 1 is equal to 1 squared, so that one works out. Let's do n equal 2, though. If n equal 2, that means I'm adding the first two odd numbers. So two terms here. That's equal to 4, which is equal to 2 squared. Now that 2 is from the terms. And note that last odd number there, 3, is equal to 2 times my n minus 1. Okay, Let's do n equal 3. That's going to be 1 plus 3 plus 5, which gives me 9, 3 squared. So there are three terms here. That's where that 3 comes from. And always note that my last term here is 2 times 3 minus 1, that 3, that 3. So I'm adding the first three terms. My last odd number is 2 times n minus 1. So that's why that works. Okay, This is n odd numbers here. Or k if I'm going to put it in this form here. So then I got n equals uh, 4. Let's just do one more. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, that gives me 16. There are four terms here, so that should be 4 squared, which it is. And please note that 7 is 2 times 4 minus 1, okay? Again, the only one you really have to show is this first case right here. but. First of all, I wouldn't mark you wrong for showing other cases. I don't know about your teacher, just would need to find out. But at least one or two other cases gives you the right idea of what you're doing, how it works, and that what you've written here makes sense. Okay, let's go on to the inductive hypothesis. So the inductive pi hypothesis, well, I'm just going to follow the same thing. I'm going to say n is equal to k minus 1. And that means I'm going to be doing 1 plus 3 plus 5. These are all odd numbers up to 
2 times whatever n is minus 1, and I'm going to assume that's going to be uh, k minus 1 squared, because I replaced n with k minus 1. So I have to replace n with k minus 1 and n with k minus 1. So this is what n used to be. This is what n used to be, so I replaced it. Let's put brackets here to kind of keep that separate. Okay, and that is truth. It's a true statement. All right, now if I do the inductive step, I'm going to start again with n equal k, and I'm going to consider the right hand side or left hand side here, and I want to show that it's equal to k squared in the end. Not this left hand side, but when I do it, well, let's just do it. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus a bunch of stuff plus um, uh, 2k minus 1. Again, what I'm doing is I'm replacing n with, two, with n, replacing n with k and replacing n with k. Replacing n with k, and then I want to show that this turns out to be k squared by using this step. Now let's see, if I count all these up, 1 plus 3 plus 5, the previous step before this one is K, putting k minus 1 here. So this is the first k, the one before it is the one with k minus 1. So that's going to be 2 times k minus 1 minus 1. That's the step before the last step. And you're saying, well, how did you know to do that? Well, I know that I have to use this somewhere, somewhere in there. So the only way that I can use that is by just looking at the first k minus 1 terms and attacking on the extra term that is needed for the high, uh, inductive step. Now over here, I know that this guy right here by the inductive hypothesis is k minus 1 squared. And I know this guy here is just going to be brought down. Okay, So that's where all that comes from. Just match the underlines. This part here, I'm just going to simplify. I have k squared minus 2k plus 1 plus 2k minus 1. And look at the beautifulness of this. The 2k's cancel, the 1's cancel, and I'm left with k squared. So I've just proven it. I proved that this added up to the first k odd integers is k squared. So therefore by induction, I can say the sum of the first and odd natural numbers is n squared. Now don't forget, you always need to conclude in a mathematical proof. So I showed it, I don't just stop though, I conclude what I was trying to show. So by the proof of induction, the sum of the first n odd natural numbers is n. I know students tend to leave this out, but again, once you've proven the thing, you can just go back up here and restate this. I've just proven, or therefore, the first n odd natural numbers is n squared. And you're done. Do not forget to conclude.